Hi guys, I'm Anne. Um, I got started in this not really because of me at all, but because I happened to be lucky enough to go to school with a phenomenal environmental studies teacher named Mrs. Conti, who's sitting over there. And I can honestly say, yeah, I'm underestimating the power of a teacher. Um, I can honestly say, if I hadn't had her, I wouldn't be here. Um, I was an environmentalist before I met Mrs. Conti, but not focused on plastics at all, which is kind of surprising because I live three houses from the ocean. Um, but for some reason, it had just never crossed the radar. And just so she said that they were going to start a group to get into the Alpha of Youth Summit. This was, I think, two years ago, maybe even now. Um, and I said, OK, cool. And then I got involved. And the more I learned about the gyres and the nurdles and single-use plastic bags and how many water bottles get thrown away every day, the more angry I got because I'm 14. I was born in 1997. and this didn't start with me. This started with my parents and the people who were older when I was first born. Not all of them, obviously, but the companies, the consumers, the government, they started doing this before I even came along. And then I was born into a world where this stuff was already happening and it wasn't my fault. And yet, I have to clean it up. Yeah. And that just made me really angry because why should I have to clean up something that I didn't start? And the more I looked around me, the more I realized how ingrained this system we have is into our consciousness. The more I realized that we got plastic bags. We got some of these plastic bags from the store until three years ago because we never thought about it. And now we bring our reusable bags and we just never thought about it. It wasn't in my, my head of where is this bag going? Even if we put it in the recycling bin, what kind of energy cost does it take to produce it in the first place? Because recycling is great, but recycling is not complete 100% recycling. There's always a little energy that's used, and I never thought about that before. And so then we started doing scientific studies on the beach, and we found that 60% of the trash at our local beach, Huntington Beach, was styrofoam. And we went to the city council, and we said, ban styrofoam and put in a, a sort of, we called it the trash taker router. Um, it collects trash from the culverts, and you know, then you can throw it away, which is not great, because it goes to the landfill, but it's not going out to the ocean. And we had this presentation, there were I think six of us, and we were impassioned, we had our bags of trash, we were there, we really wanted to make change, and they called us back a month later and said, here's the commendation. It's so wonderful that you're taking action. We're not gonna do anything. They haven't banned um, styrofoam, they haven't put in the trash taker outer. They had a huge controversy over whether to have a study to just study the impacts of eliminating, in that one city, single-use plastic bags which there was huge pushback. People didn't want to spend a small amount of city money on just the study to implement, to consider implementing this. And it made me angry because a lot of adults tell kids, it's so great that you're involved. It's so great, it's so important for you. You need to know what's going on. You're, gonna, you're the future of America. And then when we ask them to do this, then they don't. And then they tell us how proud they are that we're speaking up. And then they don't fix anything. And so the more I learned about plastic and the more I learned about youth activism, the more I realized how important this was. And now um, I'm here and I honestly, I'm just so grateful for them to have invited me here to speak. Um, I think it's hard sometimes because it can be very down, downheartening and dispiriting when you look around at climate change and rainforest destruction and deforestation and biodiversity loss and extinction and plastics and single use plastics and burning of fossil fuels and you know now the election's coming up and they didn't mention environmentalism in the debates and so it can be very depressing but if you let yourself get pushed down and think there's nothing I can do then there really isn't anything you can do which I guess is kind of getting back to the cliche Gandhi quote um, be the change you want to see in the world because it kind of does come back to that um, I haven't used a single use plastic bag in three years and it doesn't sound like it's a lot and it isn't a lot but I think it sort of adds up, and when you ask legislators and lawmakers and other people, and you you know have a Facebook group and you talk to your friends and you interject the way people view the world, you interject the truth and some facts and look at what you're doing into conversations. I think it can make a real impact, which I think is what we're doing here. Okay.
So Anne is why I do what I do. <laughs> so empowering, that's 